Uh, now we have another uh, another video question from a, a young fan named uh, named Gregory. Let's let's take a look. Hi everybody, my name is Greg Miller. Uh, I make stuff on the internet, and Robert Kirkman rode past me in a golf car once at San Diego Comic Con and insulted me. And then I went and hosted a panel with him, <laughs> and I didn't insult him back, and I've regretted it every day. But I digress. Uh, my question is this: I, I've recommended Invincible to many people many times over all these years of being a huge Invincible fan. And the one thing I always tell them is stick around through the first twist. Like Invincible starts as a very traditional superhero story, and then I think does something that establishes itself as a, a series that's going to subvert your superhero expectations. How are you handling that in an episodic series? Obviously, people have such short attention spans, right? You don't want them to start, tune into the first episode, think it's just a, oh, this is you know, Superman for all intents and purposes, and bounce out. How are you taking what makes Invincible special and getting to that kicker without ruining it early? Or I, are you just doing it the normal way of the comic book? How are you wrestling with people's expectations? The fact that there are big, you know, twists down the road is, I, I think uh, the fact that there are lots of interesting twists along the way really uh, kind of, you know, hopefully battles that, uh, uh, you know, short attention, 21st century attention span. Um, uh, but really, more importantly, I want to know what the insult was that you hurled at that guy from your golf cart. It could have been anything. I mean, you know, do you think that guy, I, why would I remember? I, I barely know who Greg Miller No, was. I want to know from him. Um, I know you don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he remembers. Um, no, I, lo I love Greg. Let me just say this. Um, we were aware of, of, of that situation. And uh, I will say that having written the comic, uh, the big twist does happen possibly deeper in the run than, you know, it maybe should have. Um, but I will say that uh, uh, if you've read Invincible, there are so many big twists and so many other things. It's possible that moving things up would have kept, would have allowed us to have other things, uh, you know, loaded that would have happened right after that. So it wouldn't have made it, uh, you know, wouldn't mess things up. It's possible that we moved twists in front of twists. It's possible that, uh, you know, all kinds of different things have happened in the adaptation of, of this comic book series. But what I will say is uh, uh, we hit the ground running. And uh, I don't think anybody is going to be sitting around going, well, this this isn't an interesting show. When's something cool going to happen? Because uh, th cool things are happening almost nonstop on this show. So Greg is going to be very happy. Uh, I've had to stop myself many times from uh, texting him clips from the show because I know he's going to be uh, uh, very excited when he sees some of this stuff. Uh, and I know a lot of the fans out there are going to feel the same.